Now, since the last time, I've um, done a bit of point pulling to kind of get the character's face to be more smooth and rounded and cartoony. But I think we're ready to go ahead and work on the neck here. So I'm going to switch over to my character modeling screen layout here. And let's begin working on the neck. There's a couple ways we could go with this. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and select this entire edge here and just extrude this and scale it down and uh, bring it down for the neck. So I'm going to hit the E key to extrude and I'm going to pull this down a bit. And I think I will scale this down a bit and move it in just a little and maybe also scale this so it's flattened a little bit and scale it in some more. So really it's just a matter of scaling and rotating. Um, I think I'm going to rotate this just a bit like this. Get it kind of flat here. And now extrude it down again. And it looks like we could even scale this down a little more here. And I'll just do a little adjusting here to try and reduce the amount of stretching that's happening here. Ultimately, I'll probably insert some edge loops into the face here. But right now I'm trying to keep the geometry as simple as possible so that when I m make a change, it actually affects a greater part of the model itself. And once I get down here, I'm going to, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and extrude this again, pull it down a bit, and maybe begin scaling it out a bit as well. Not too bad. It looks like we've got these um, edges back here really kind of came together. I'll need to do some adjusting back here. But generally speaking, it worked out pretty well. It doesn't always work out that well. <laughs> so good. Back in my um, front and side views, let's go ahead and work on bringing the body down. As I said, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, model the, 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 the body underneath the clothes um, and then put the clothes on top. All right, so I'll scale out, move out a bit, move down some, and move forward a bit, perhaps. And just adjust these so they fit the character here. Scale in the Z to flatten them out a bit. Like this. So once we get down to the waist, they're um, parallel to the grid. All right, let's keep on going here. So I'm just using scale and move. And I'm going to scale in the Z again to kind of flatten this up. And keep moving down the, keep extruding edges down the character. Now let's take a look at how we've done so far. All right, so every once in a while it's a good idea to come back into your 3D view and take a look at the edge flow and see how you've done. I'm just going to adjust a few of these here because the problem is is once you have something that's a little off 
as you continue to extrude, it just compounds the problem. So every once in a while, go in and make a few adjustments. So for the arms, I think what I'm going to do is use a couple of these faces here and delete them and then extrude the edges out for the for the arm. Let's go back to the character modeling. Yeah, it looks like I could select these faces here and use those for the arms. So let's try that. Now I know I don't have the shoulders up as high as I do in the drawing here and that's fine. We'll we'll get to that point, but for now let's start from here. I'll delete the faces, and go to edge mode and select that edge, and now let's try and adjust it so it matches the drawing a little better. Alright, let's start extruding the arm out. What I'll do is I'll begin with this shape here, and then I'll try and bring it to a more rounded um, shape once we get out to the wrist. So let's work on that. I'll just select that edge loop and hit E. And I'm first of all, I'm going to take it out just a little bit. Scale that in. I also want to flatten it by scaling it in the X just a little bit. There we go. And then extrude again. And now scale in bring it up a bit. Now I know I'm not exactly matching the, uh, the the reference image and that's okay. This is just a reference. It's not set in stone here. All right and I'll extrude again and this time I'm going to begin on the elbow edges and for every joint you have you're going to need at least three edges. One edge for the center of the bend and the other two edges for on either side of the bend. Now what I need to do before I start that is adjust this a bit so that it's more rounded. Let me do that. All right, so here's the first part of the elbow, that first edge. I'll flatten that up some. Here's the first edge, the next edge for the elbow, and the next one here. So this is where the elbow is going to bend right here. And this will be kind of the middle of the forearm. So I'll extrude this back. I'll extrude that out. Flatten it up just a bit. And scale it in. So now it's kind of like that. So that is the beginnings of our arm. And the wrist may be a little bit flatter than round here. All right, let's take a look at this in the 3D view. Looks a little flat on the bottom, uh, but we can fix that. So, now some, once again, some point pulling to get things more in order. You could also use the smooth tool and in the uh, sculpt toolkit to do some of this as well. Sometimes I pull pull that out to do this kind of thing. But for now I'll just do it this way. I'm also going to pull this point out just a little bit to kind of hint at an elbow there. That may not be a final um, decision, but I'm just going to pull that point out at the back so that I know that that's going to be the elbow. 
And once I do that, I can also pull this one in, these maybe these couple in, to signify that that's going to be where the elbow is as well. All right, in the next one we'll work on moving down here, getting the uh, hips, and work on the legs.